great. Now I know what it takes. I'm putting a new face on the old one. Ready for anything. Playing with fate. Not a moment too late. Showing the whole world. Danielle's just gonna love this surprise party. But I still think we should get some more ice cream. I think two gallons of Rocky Road is enough for two adults and two children. I don't. Besides, Aunt Mel loves pistachio. Not as much as you do, Joey. Annie, darling, how much does Jackie Onassis tip her limo driver? <laughs> What? Oh, my goodness, what is this? Well, you're our woman of the month. Yeah. It was oh. a month ago today that you started working on your new career in the publishing business. Oh. Thank you, Matthew. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Joey. Mm -hmm. And Addie, darling, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I thank you. And my limousine driver thanks you. Mm. Nell, did the office send you home in a limo? No, the office did not send me home in a limo. And it wasn't just a limo. It was a custom-designed limousine with a wet bar, a television set, and a telephone. I tried to call you at it, but as usual, you were on the phone. <laughs> what happened to your other shoe? Oh, I don't know. When you're being driven home by a prince's chauffeur, who cares? A prince? Prince, the rock star? No, 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 little one. I said a prince. Not that cute little guitar player who prances across stage in a G-string. <laughs> uh, Joey, look, why don't you take Matthew down to the store and get us some more ice cream for the party? I thought you said we had enough. Uh, I lied. <laughs> you want to get rid of us, right? Yes, and that's no lie. Bye. <laughs> okay, the kids are gone. Now, Cinderella, what else did you lose in that limo besides your slipper? <laughs> tell me now, you better tell. No, I Oh, just, girl. Quiet, now, okay. now, listen, listen. Okay. Addie, I swear to you, girl, mm -hmm. I was running to the bus. Yeah. Then I tripped and fell, and I turned my ankle. Yeah. Well, honey, the next thing I knew, I was in the back seat of this limo with my shoes off, listening to Peebo Bryson, and <laughs> sipping on a Diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Talk about luck. Oh, get out of here, honey. Luck had nothing to do with this. It was my incredible beauty that thrust me into this situation. <laughs> anyway, the chauffeur said that his boss, the prince, saw my incredible beauty from the penthouse and sent him down to offer his assistance. Ooh. Wait a minute. <laughs> he saw your incredible beauty from the penthouse? <laughs> my personality. <laughs> he saw your personality from the penthouse? Actually, Addie, I am quite a striking woman. He saw how striking you were? If you the... say from the penthouse one more time, you're going to find out exactly how striking I am. <laughs> now, girl, if you believe that chauffeur's line, then you don't belong on the streets without a registered nurse. <laughs> He's trying to hit on you. Addie. Just because your bus driver will not give you eye contact when you come home from work, don't you try to ruin this for me, honey. <laughs> Someday my prince will come. Eat your heart out, girl. Yes? Is this the Nell Harper residence? Yes. What took you so long? His royal prince. How do you do? I'm Prince Kasamiboto. Oh, Nell! 
Your prince has come. <laughs> Won't you come in? Why don't you sit your highness down on our humble couch? <laughs> She'll be right here. I'm Addie Wilson. It is a pleasure, mademoiselle. Yeah. <laughs> so, you're a prince. Yes, I am. From a small country in Africa named Gabon. Oh. Hi. Mademoiselle Harper. Oh. I believe I have something that belongs on your tiny little foot. Oh, <laughs> oh look. I found it in the wine rack of my limousine. <laughs> Prince brought me my slipper. Please, allow me to properly introduce myself. I am Gilbert Casamiborto, Prince of the Buno people. <laughs> Prince. Please, call me Gilbert. <laughs> I would imagine my chauffeur told you that I saw you fall, quite gracefully, I might add, below my pintos. Ah. You mean you saw little old me? <laughs> yeah. You mean you saw little old her? Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> and I must say that you are even more beautiful at ground level. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Prince. But isn't Gabon one of Africa's democracies? Well, that it is. And the title Prince is an ancient tribal one. It has been in my family for centuries. Actually, I am a businessman. So that's why you're not wearing your crown. <laughs> I don't own a crown. Actually, I own two derbies, a Hamburg, and a Mitz baseball cap. <coughs> <laughs> So, you're a businessman. Yes. I studied finance at Oxford. And right now I'm in the process of raising capital for a far-reaching enterprise. Raising capital. Isn't that interesting, Nell? Mm -hmm. Raising capital. Can I see you for a minute? Oh, OK. <laughs> excuse me. <clears throat> you will excuse us, Prince. We'll just go into the kitchen and get you a royal crown cola. <laughs> Get a grip in the process of raising capital for a far-reaching enterprise. Well, now we know what he saw from the penthouse. Your purse. <laughs> he did not. He saw my incredible beauty. You know what, Addy? You're just jealous because from his penthouse, he couldn't see your skinny little body. Oh, man. And even if he did, he'd probably send you home in a stretch Toyota. <laughs> now, the man is lying. He and that chauffeur are a team, and they are working a scam. I happen to believe that Gilbert is legitimate. Legitimate? Yes, legitimate. Oh, girl, face it, he's a fraud. I mean, what would a prince from Gabon be doing in Greenwich Village in our living room? You know what, Addie? If it were your slipper he found in the wine rack, you wouldn't be asking all these questions. You make me sick. So, you are the woman of the month? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering, what would a prince from the lawn be doing in Greenwich Village in our apartment, huh? Well, to make it a long story short, I'm the first manufacturer of my country to successfully combine two of our greatest natural resources, chocolate and coconut oil. And that is how I was able to come up with a product never before produced in Africa. What is it? Chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Did you hear that now? <laughs> yeah, I heard that. So you own a cookie factory in Africa. Yes. What do your employees call you, Prince Cookie King? <laughs> Actually, they call me Sneezy. I'm allergic to chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> so then you're in New York looking for people to invest money in your factory. Oh, yes, yes. We need extra capital to expand and meet the demand. Did you hear that, Nell? I heard that, Addie. You see, the prince is in New York looking for people to invest money 
in his factory. All right, yeah, but it's been fun, old pal, but the party's over. Good, good. Then perhaps we can continue this conversation tomorrow for dinner. Y your friend Addie can come along as your chaperone. Oh, wait, 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 hold it. Hold it, just wait one slap-sucking minute. <laughs> now you're trying to con me and my girlfriend out of my money? Huh? Look, the slipper bit was cute. But just who do you think you're kidding? Oxford? You go to Oxford? The closest you'll ever come to Oxford are the shoes on your feet. Here. Oh, I think you misunderstood my intent. Wrong again, Sneezy. Now, won't you take your careful story and you run it by some out-of-towner, but not by me, okay? What are you talking about? Okay, I'll be blunt. Get out! I know. Hi, Addie. Your Highness. Did you just call this man Your Highness? Well, of course, Nell. You know, in this new career of yours, you, you hang around with a much better crowd. <laughs> Did this man get you to invest? No, but if he'd asked me, I'd have been interested. I saw you on television. You look taller in person. <laughs> you were discussing your new cookie factory. <laughs> oh, Your Highness, can you ever forgive me? <laughs> Would one of y'all please help me get up? <laughs> Nell? Yeah? How was your date with the prince tonight? Oh, fine. Fine. What do you mean, fine, fine? All you've done is rave about him for the past two weeks. Now all you can say is, fine, fine? Well, it started out like all our other dates. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we went for a romantic carriage ride through Central Park, and... And he kissed my hand. Oh, there were stars in the sky. And then he kissed my hand, and the moon was full. And he kissed my hand. <laughs> oh, yeah, and the air was so sweet, the smell of gardenias. And he kissed my hand. <laughs> and then, Eddie, he started to talk about Africa. Mm -hmm. And I swear to you, I could almost feel the pull of Africa. Mm. And then. He kissed my hand. <laughs> and then... Yeah? Then he gave me this. <gasps> oh! Nell, this is gold! Solid gold! Oh, this is so heavy! And then... He asked me to marry him. And then... He kissed... My hand. Oh. You found them. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm such a mess. Addie, I didn't get any sleep last night. I kept thinking about Gilbert's proposal. Mm. So I got out of bed and to take my mind off of it, turn on the late show. Mm -hmm. What do you think they were showing? The African Queen. <laughs> What are you going to tell him, Nell? I mean, are you going to marry him or not? Oh, I don't know, Annie. I mean, I know this could open up a whole new life for me. I mean, a whole new culture. A whole new continent. Then I would have to give up my job. And I, I, I really like walking into that office every day. I like getting respect for the things that I do. And I like feeling that I'm in charge of my future. Then you're leaning towards no. No, I mean, I don't know. It's just 
So hard to resist. And I tell you, it's so real dating a prince. You know what, Addie? The only thing he's done is kissed my hand. <laughs> That's all? <laughs> I knew something had to be wrong with me. <laughs> You know, I happen to like shy guys, but you wouldn't understand that, would you? They don't call you wet lips Wilson for nothing. <laughs> Eddie, what am I going to do? I mean, give it to such a fine, sensitive, educated man, and he's trying to help the people of his country. And he happens to be loaded. Oh, big deal. So what? Yeah. Oh, no. I'm going upstairs. Say, I finally got the boys to do their homework. You, uh... Going out with the prince again? Yeah, uh, Grandpa? Uh, last night he popped the question. Yeah, chow, old jar. <laughs> no, Grandpa. He asked me to marry him and to move to Africa. Oh, Nell, congratulations. I'll be losing my little girl. Well, it may not be such a bad life after all. The men sit around drinking palm wine, and the women get together and whack their laundry on a rock. No, 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 Grandpa. I think you got that all wrong. You see, Gabon is, uh, is a modern country, and the women have the same rights as men. Oh. Well, that's too bad. I was thinking of moving there. <laughs> Princess Nell Casa Maboto. Hey, that is me. <laughs> you know, Addie, it would be easier to make a decision if you came with me. Me? Yeah, come to Africa with us. What would I do in Gabon? Well, the prince and I will be invited to all of Africa's A-list parties. And there you'll be right beside me in all of the photographs, in all of the newspapers. Let's see, we can go shopping in Paris and London, and you can help me pick out my hat for important occasions like um, weddings, receptions, coronations, hmm. barbecues. <laughs> you can help me keep all my social engagements together. What do you say? Are you asking me to be your lady in waiting? Yeah. <laughs> Honey, it'll be a cold day in Gabon before I rinse out your ball game. <laughs> All right, Addie, suit yourself. Stay here in New York and find yourself some peasant, huh? <laughs> now, what about Joey and Matthew? I mean, have you seriously thought about how this might affect them? Oh, please, Addie, of course I have. I mean, even if I decided to say yes, I wouldn't make a commitment without talking to the boys first. But that's okay. You suit yourself. You stay here in New York City, alone, waiting. <laughs> Would you excuse me, please? <laughs> no, honey, you stay right here, by yourself, alone, waiting. <laughs> La la shebo. La la shebo. Uh, not in front of Addie. Uh, Addie, darling, would you put this in some water for me? Oh, sure. Thank you, darling. Well, I hope you don't mind, Mel. I thought we might take a drive across the river and look at the New York skyline. Mm. I don't want to share you with anyone else tonight. That sounds perfect. Well, good night, Addie. Good night, Nell. Good night, Gilbert. Good oh, night. Nell, yes. you dropped your purse. Oh, Lady Addie, you're learning. <laughs> Lady Addie. Lady Adelaide Wilson. Presenting your serene Lady Adelaide Wilson. <laughs> oh, Gilbert. Look at all the lights. Aren't they beautiful? Yes, they certainly are now. 
but not as beautiful as the lights in your eyes. <clears throat> if you won't be needing me, sir, I'll take a short walk. A long walk would be better. <laughs> yes, Your Highness. Mm. Uh, 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 Gilbert, dear, I mean, if you want to dance, maybe we should get out of the car. Oh, but I thought a little romantic music would be appropriate. Oh, Gilbert, you're, you're setting me up. Darling, that is what princes do. <laughs> Have you thought about my proposal? Well, I've got nothing much but think about it. You know, last night I didn't get any sleep, so... I got up and I turned on the late show. And you know, Africa really is beautiful. But of course it is. And my country is a perfect place for a woman like yourself. Why, these are exciting times for women in Gabon. They are considering careers that never, never before was available to them. You mean I could have my own career? Yes, you can. I never wanted you to just be Mrs. Kasame Boto. No, no, I want my wife to be able to pursue her own career. To, to satisfy her own needs. And mine. Oh. <laughs> you know, you're making it awfully hard to say no. Listen to that beautiful trumpet. I think it is telling you to say yes. <laughs> it's funny you should mention trumpet. My ex-husband played trumpet. Oh? Yeah, but he was nothing like you. I mean, you're so kind. You're so understanding. So you were married to a trumpet player? Oh, yeah. But you know, that was a long time ago. <laughs> we were just kids. It was a mistake. Too bad. Too Big bad. Big mistake. But kids do make mistakes. <laughs> no. Die. I... I'm crushed. You see, it is, it is a tribal uh, custom that members of the royal family cannot, under any circumstances, be married to a woman who has been tampered with. <laughs> tampered with? <laughs> so you think that's funny, huh? It's just the situation is hysterical. Well, I have you to know that I'm not the only one in this room who has been tampered with. <laughs> I like to call the FBI in here just to dust your body down for fingerprints. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey, really. Tampered with? Who does he think he is? Old narrow-minded, old-fashioned, hand-kissing, pompous old jerk? What is he get? that his wife has to be pure. It's not so pure himself. You know what, Addie? I have you to know that when he kissed my hand, he bit my knuckle. <laughs> Tell me that if he married a woman that had been tampered with, his mama would kill him. Some prince he is. I'm gonna tell you what, I got so mad that I took off his old $5,000 necklace and I threw it in his face. Ha, 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 ha.